morning guys, my name is Renat Els. I come from a little town here in the Eastern Cape called Bokne Strand. Today we're going to do some deep sea fishing where we have a variety of bottom fish that we're going to try to target. Uh, so we're going to launch the boat in Karuga River and then through the mouth. It's a beautiful morning today. Um, it's winter still but it's going to go up until 30 degrees Celsius. So yeah, let's do this. Hi guys. Uh, so yeah, we are at the Karuga River uh, slipway. Uh, we're gonna do a launch here in the, in the river. Then we're gonna go through the mouth. Looks like a little bit of wave is there waiting for us. Uh, but it's a beautiful morning. Uh, they say it's gonna be up to. 30 degrees Celsius today on a winter's morning. Uh, actually, winter's day. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get out there and see what we can get. Ciao. If you choose to go out a river mouth into the deep, make sure that you know what you are doing and especially know what the tides are doing. If you don't know and you're new to the location, find a local skipper that goes in and out quite often and ask him what to look for. For instance, this particular river, Karuga River in Kinsanon Sea, on the left you'll find lots of rocks and on the right a sandbank. So rather keep closer to the right and if you hit something you'll hit the sandbank. It's better than the rocks. Um, for this morning I went out 8 o'clock. It was perfect high and then I came in semi low so it was more there was more than enough water to to hit out and hit in so when you go through make sure that you are 100 percent confident and you are keen to take this mouth shot Let's gear up and go down. See right guy down there. Really light setup. LB ski pro and a little uh, KP scar bro. 6 0 hook, very sharp, 6 ounce sinker. About 51 meters now. See if we can get some hake or some keelback or cob. What I've got here is I've got a octopus. I see a cat. Very large. Um, two per day. So I went out last night quickly get some two octopus, a little sardine. I can't tell you how old these sardines are. Trick that I I learned from my father. Oh, actually, some some of you fishermen would know. Um, once you're done fishing, don't take your sardines and chuck it away. If you have a bunch left, the best way to keep them fresh is to get some thick salt and um, you what you do is you take a little bag pack it and you just spray the salt over back another layer spray the salt over back another layer and I promise you they get fresh they they keep fresh and they like 
keep the consistency. That's it. Good job. Let's see what's cutting you. Scotchman. Right you guys, as you can see I've got a nice Scotchman. Got his eye shadow right there. <laughs> You're only allowed to catch one of them per person and they have to be 40 centimeters here in the Eastern Cape. We were a little bit unfortunate to, to hit Hake uh, or Carvalho or um, Kilbeck. So I head up closer to the coast, one of my favorite spots, the Dacharat spot. Um, see if we can catch a couple of them for the fun and then keep one and then go home, clean the boat and then uh, have a cook show. All right. I stopped here at one of my favorite spots uh, in Kenton. Um, I call it my Dacharat spot. Uh, I'm quickly going to set up another nice tail here, the leg I mean, just like that. Let's have a piece of my Bokom sardines, let's get down there. Dacharat is on the on the red list, so you can't um, sell them or buy them. But it's an amazing fish. So guys, I'm heading in right now. Um, it was such a beautiful day, and the ocean was so full of life. I mean, there was birds everywhere, dolphins, whales. The fish were biting, and I'm almost 100% sure that I see that I saw some. Um, um, little bonitas or little tuna on the surface. Unfortunately, I didn't catch my hake, but I'm taking a dacharad back home to cook for you guys. So remember, guys, when you use a river system mouth going in and out, make sure that your tide is right and make sure that you know what you're doing and be patient. Check your obstacles. If you're not sure, turn around, go back in and if you if you if if the tide if the tide caught you stay in unfortunately you have to stay in <laughs> because you don't want to hit the sand or the rocks but anyway see you guys back home let go cheers how's it going guys welcome back home um 
but uh, in the Kharab back home, so I'm going to show you how to fill it and cook it. Uh, so, you guys are ready. Lekker. Alright, guys, I'm um, just going to do some fillets here for you. Uh, make sure that you guys have a nice and sharp knife. Cut there by the tail. And then all the way down here. Alright guys, so here we got the fillets. You can see, nice and nice and fresh. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you how to do the batter and then I'm gonna put it in the oil. Lekker. Alright, so I decided to go with onion rings. Uh, with the batter, the fish in the batter, we're waiting for the oil to heat up and two pieces in the air fryer and definitely definitely a little wine speed to go with dinner tonight so i've got the onion rings in just smear them with the, with the batter and um, that looks super tasty they're presented, presented on the board soon so as soon as this is finished Done by the chips, I heard. Right, that looks like it's getting on. Um, oh, cheers! Oh, perfect. Hi right, guys, this is what I'm going to have to present to you. Dacharant battered, freshly caught from the ocean to the stove to the plate. And um, yeah, so I'm going to dig in. I am super hungry. I'm just going to sprinkle that over. So you can eat it just as like as you want because there's no bones whatsoever. Cheers! Perfect. Thank you guys.